Every user of the PlanPlus system has the the ability to set up an external web page. In order to set up your personal external web page, you go to Preferences and you click on External Profile. This is the setup page. This is going to define what goes on your external page. There's four sections here. There's Personal Information, there's Company Information, and then there's a biography area about myself and then a section for including your calendar. By default personal information is selected. The other three areas about company, about myself, and my calendar are not selected. When you first open this page everything is blank. So you basically have a blank external page. So to get started Let's start from the top. Personal information. You can use your HTML email signature. If you've set that up in your email center and you want to use it here, you can include that here. It will copy the HTML email signature from your email area into the text box below. You could also configure a completely different signature here. If you click on the configure button, that opens a wizard that allows you to set up a different business card looking layout for your HTML signature. Of course this box below, the big white box, you can type in any HTML you want. So if you have a specific HTML signature area that you want to include, just copy and paste the HTML into this box. Once you've set up your personal information, the next section is about company. To include information about your company on your external web page, you have to click the checkbox next to it. It has to be checked. Of course, you also need to include a title and you need to include some content. The next section, about myself, again, you need to check the box in order to include it. This is a place for biographical information about yourself. So you include a title and some content. The final checkbox, My Calendar, will determine whether you're going to include your calendar on your web page or not. Once you select your calendar and say you want to include it, then you have the choice of showing your appointment name and providing a place where visitors can request an appointment with you. If you check off show appointment name, your appointment names will show up on your calendar. Generally I don't select this because I don't want everybody in the world to know who I'm meeting with. And then allowing visitors to request an appointment simply places a form on your page that allows a visitor to fill out the form and request an appointment with you. Once you've selected everything you want on this setup page, you can preview your web page by clicking on preview. As you can see on this page, at the very top is my custom HTML header. It shows my company logo and then information about myself on the right. Right below it you can see the button to save it to your address book. The next section you can see about creative project services. That's information about your company. And then the section after that is about myself. Then at the very bottom, you have your calendar area. With my calendar, you can see we have the little calendar, which is a monthly calendar, and then we have the appointment calendar for the week. Another important feature is your time zone is listed at the top of your appointment schedule. Then the request for appointment form is on the lower left hand side. Once somebody fills in all those fields, and all of those are required, and they submit the request, an email is sent to you requesting an appointment. Now to share this page with everybody, all you have to do is preview the page just like it is right now, then copy the URL from your browser and paste it into any emails or any information. You can put it on your LinkedIn page or your Facebook page. That link is always the link to your personal page. 